Today we are comparing two different spot welders. First we have the portable Avis U3. This device costs around $50. It runs on a built-in 7500 mAh battery and can be charged with any USB-C charger. The welding voltage is 4.2 volts. There's a button on the welding cable that you press to start the weld. Next we have the glitter A01D. This one costs around $200. It uses a supercapacitor and has a higher welding voltage of 5.8 volts. It has a pressure sensitive welding head or you can trigger the weld using a foot pedal. I won't go over all the features of the devices. Instead, we'll focus on the quality of the welds. That mainly depends on the device's current output and voltage. Let's use 0.50mm pure nickel strip, which is commonly used in high power battery packs and makes a great comparison. Let's start with the average. The arms are thick and the electrodes can be placed at straight angle to the strip, resulting in pore contact. This causes sparking and the electrodes tend to stick. We are using the highest power setting. The strip can be pulled off easily by hand. Only some of the welds are properly attached. Now let's try the glitter. The electrodes hit the strip at right angle, creating solid contact with minimal sparking. The weld marks for the glitter are clean and bright, while the neighboring welds made by the avitzer show large burn marks. The welded strips are hard to pull off by hand. Glitter has enough power and the welds are solid, and that was just 30% of its full power. That seems to be just the right amount. More power could make holes to the battery. Let's compare the pulled off strips. The one welded with glitter has holes, indicating strong welds. The Abyss strip only shows small bumps. Glitter clearly provides better contact and bonding. Now let's see how much the devices heat up the battery during welding. The Avis raises the temperature to 250 degrees Celsius. Because it provides lower current, it uses a longer pulse which leads to more heat. Glitter, on the other hand, only heats the battery to 49 degrees. Thanks to the supercapacitor, it delivers a high current in a short pulse. That keeps the battery much cooler. So the weaker device actually heats the battery more. Tavis uses the native voltage of its lithium battery, 4.2 volts, which likely isn't enough. Glitter using 5.8 volts creates better welds while heating the battery less. The winner is the glitter, it makes better welds. But if you're on a budget, you can use a portable welder like the Avits, but you must use thinner strips or nickel plated ones. They are easier to weld, but not as good electrical conductors. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.